Hello guys and welcome to another Hacker Run video. Today we're going to be solving 2D array. We define an hourglass in A to be a subset of values with indices falling in this pattern in R's graphical representation. A, B, C, D, E, F, G. There are 16 hourglasses in R. An hourglass sum is the sum of an hourglass values. Calculate the hourglass sum for every hourglass in R, then bring the max hourglass sum. So the first thing we have to do is make sure that we can actually um, get the values in A in such a way that it represents the hourglass. So how do we actually do this? Well, we need to make sure that we know how to this array work and how to access values. For example, we know that this is going to be the row, and then anything going downwards is going to be the column. So for A, it's just going to be at 0, 0, and then for B, it's going to be at 0, 1, and then for C, it's going to be at 0, 2, right? So 0 index 1 and 2, and then for D, it's going to be here, right? So we know that this is going to be the second row and then the second column. And then for E, F, and G, it's going to be the third row, right? And then we have the first column, the second column, and then the third column, right? So it's going to be here, it's going to be two, and then it's going to be, so two, zero, two, one, and two, two, okay? However, we know that if we are here, right, and we want to access these values, Right, we can go past four. All right, we can go past four. So we need to make sure that well, we can go past three because this is this is going to be three, four, and then um, five. Right, so we can go past three. All right, so we can say if it's less than or equal to three. Right, for the row and column because for the column we start to go down as well when we try to access uh, the columns like this. Okay. So what we need to do is represent it like this. So for example, if we had our, um, let me keep some comments here, need more. All right, so our first is going to be R and then it's going to be for the row, we're gonna have R1 and then we're gonna have uh, column plus um, R and then we're gonna have uh, row and then we're going to have um, column plus one and then we're going to have um, uh, plus r and then we're going to have row and then we're going to have um, column plus two and then for the second part we're going to have r and then we're going to have row right plus one and then we're going to have um, column plus one. And then for the third part, we're going to have R. And then we're going to have here um, row plus two, right? And then you're going to have um, column. So pretty much what we're going to do is we're going to take this part right here, copy it over. And now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add two to the row here and keep the, keep the columns the same. So this is going to be, yeah, so two and two. All right. So let's go ahead here and actually uh, solve this. So the first thing we need to do is we need to keep two variables. Let's do int uh, sum and we're going to do um, max sum and our max sum has to be equal to integer dot min underscore value um, the reason for this is because these hourglass actually have negative value as i saw here right it actually has negative values and we need to make sure that we account for negative values as well all right and we need to account for negative values so we don't know what the smallest negative value is going to be. So we give it the smallest negative value that we can actually hold in an integer. 
All right, the next thing that we want to do is go over our um, uh, our 2D array. So we're going to do int r is going to equal to 0, and r is going to be less than r dot length, right, minus 2. All right, and then we're going to do plus plus r. Then we need to do it, go, for, uh, go for the column. So we're going to do int c is going to equal to 0, right, and then we're going to do um, c is less than r row dot length minus 2. We're going to do plus plus c. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is take in the sum here. It's going to equal to. And what we want to do is we could just copy this, and this is the reason why I made this this way. So we can copy this here and just um, paste it down here for the first part. And then we're going to add in a plus and go down here, and we can copy this part here. And we can paste it here for the second uh, value, which is going to be which is going to be uh, D, and then we need to copy for E, F, and G. All right. So next, we're going to do um, E, F, and G here. Copy this, and we're going to go ahead here and paste it, and then we're going to go ahead and cl close this. All right. So we have our A, B, C, D, E, F, and G. All right, so now what we need to do is say that if sum, right, is greater than max sum, then we make the max sum equals the sum. So we're going to say that um, max, max uh, sum is going to equal to sum. And then all we need to do is return max sum. All right, so this is how we approach this hourglass question. You can go ahead and run it. And let's submit. All right, guys, this will be it for this question. I'll see you guys in the next HackerRank video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.